this video, I will show you how you can animate still image to life with the simple tricks you can follow. For this video, I will using this image as the example. If you want to follow along, you can download it using the link below. First, we are going to separate the background and foreground. By separating the image into different layers, we will be able to animate each element individually, which helps create depth and 3D perspective. To do this, it's very simple. We are going to use photo editing software like Photoshop. First, duplicate your image layer and name them foreground and background. Let's start with the foreground. Hide the background layer for now. Use the quick selection tool to select the subject or the foreground area you want to isolate. Once you are happy with the selection, click on mask and then export as PNG file. Now for the background, let's hide the foreground layer. We need to remove the subject so we are left with clean background. Use the pen tool to make selection around the foreground area. Once the area is selected, you can use generative fill to automatically remove it. Once you finish, export as JPEG file. You can also use AI tools like Lovart to separate the layers. It has automatic features which is edit elements that make this process much faster and easier. Before I jump back into DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I need to show you these AI tools I've been using for my design assets. Now you can access Nano Banana Pro inside of Lovart, the most powerful creative tool ever. There is a huge upgrade about subject consistency and text rendering. With this, you can tell the AI to translate your image into different languages while keeping the exact same layout. And then, it can generate visuals that are more accurate and full of real context. You can now generate visuals, poster, diagrams with correctly rendered, readable text directly inside the image. No more strange labels or incorrect locations. It unlocks powerful advanced tools, including precise mask editing, poster edits, and complex task processing. Here's a huge upgrade for anyone on the Basic Plus plan. If you subscribe between November 21st and 30th, you will get 365 days of completely free, zero credit access to Nano Banana Pro, including the brand new model like Sea Dream 4 and Mid Journey V7. And if you are already a Basic Plus member, good news, you're getting this automatically. Go to Love Art and start creating. Just check link down below. Now we can move over to DaVinci Resolve, bring in both the background and foreground image and make sure their durations match on the timeline. Then let's enhance the shot by adding an overlay. Overlays are a great way to add movement and make your still image feel more alive. Let's start with the background layer. Move the foreground clip out of the way so only the background is visible because we are going to work in Fusion. Add a merge node. Then bring in your star overlay and connect to the merge. Change the apply mode to screen to remove the black background. After that, use a polygon mask to isolate the area so the stars appear only where we want them. Now let's go back to edit page and we work on the foreground. For this part, I'm adding a bonfire element. I found this clip online and it already comes with an alpha channel, so the background is completely transparent. Go back to the edit and align both layers. Since we added a bonfire to the foreground, I think it would be better if we give a slight blinking effect to match the fire light. So to do this, switch over to the color page and search for the flicker effect. Adjust the sliders to something like this. And then use the polygon tool to mask around the bonfire area so the effect stays localized.
that's looking pretty good. Now we are going to add some movement to the subject using warp tool. Search for warper and apply it to the foreground layer. Set it to open effects overlay. Change the warp mode to point. Basically, this creates a mess over your image with pins you can place to control different parts of the subject. I'm placing pins on the head, body, and leg, so we can animate each area individually. But we also need to keep the background from moving, so hold safe and place a few pins outside the subject to lock everything in place. Next, let's add some animation. Set a keyframe on the first frame, then I slightly move the head. After that, go to the end of the clip. Set another keyframe and lift the head just a little bit. Now when you play it back, the subject suddenly raises their head. Next we will add parallax effect by transforming each layer with keyframes. Start with the background. Set a keyframe for the zoom at the beginning. Then move to the end of the clip and scale it up slightly. It will automatically create another keyframe. So the effect of the camera is slowly zooming. Now repeat the same process for the foreground. But this time increase the scale more on the last keyframe something like this. Since the foreground is closer to the camera, it should move faster to create stronger parallax effect. Now let's add camera movement effect. Search for camera sake, and I'm gonna apply it to the background first. Since the background is farther from the camera, we only need saddle movement. So set the motion speed to around 0.5, and the motion scale to about 0.1. Then apply the same effect to the foreground. This time, increase the motion speed to around 1 to create a more exaggerated effect because the foreground is closer to the camera. The motion scale can stay the same as before, which is 0.1. To bring the image even more to life, you can also add sound effects. I hope you find this video useful in some way. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.